Hi everybody. So today I have another Hobby Lobby haul. Um, this time I went because Tim Holtz was on sale this week and I had a return. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I picked this up by Tim Holtz because I don't think I've gotten it before. It's the, the Ideology Keepsake ephemera and that's what it looks like on the back. At first I thought it was Christmas related because there's a lot of red, you know, that kind of vintage red, but it's not. It's just, that's just the color scheme for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Um, those mask holders that I got from Dollar Tree. So I also picked up this to give to my niece because she loves unicorns. And it was 74 cents, Paper Studio. I also got um, this, since it's 40% off. This is the Distressed Ink Pad Storage Tin. And it's regularly $11.99, which is not a bad price, but you know, like I said, got it on sale um, and then the last thing in that bag I got was this treasure gold it's metallic um, what is this exactly because it was on sale it was on sale it was on clearance for $1.99 as you can see here um, what do I mean is it you're supposed to use it with a soft bristle brush now I got this because I thought, well, maybe I can use it with the wax seals, but I don't know if it's a paste or if it's a if it's a, a powder. It's kind of hard to tell, but I like that it's not like the yellow, you know, tacky gold. And actually, I thought this was more of like almost like a rose gold in a way, but I don't know. We'll try it. Um, let's see here. I got the tin on sale for $7.19 and the um, ephemera came out to $3.59, okay? So, got that. I gotta put this, the receipt aside and I'll, I have a story to tell you. Okay, so in my last Hobby Lobby haul, I had purchased three or four different ink pads and I didn't realize that uh, one of them I already bought. I was so pissed. <laughs> it's like another unnecessary trip to Hobby Lobby. And I would say unnecessary because that would mean I'd be tempted to get more stuff that I don't need. So, sorry about that. My battery died. <laughs> That's why you always see a battery somewhere here on my t table because I know it's probably going to die out um, sometime while I'm filming. That's the only thing that sucks about the Canon M50 is that the batteries, they don't last very long. But then again, these are generic ones that I buy. I mean, I don't, I don't want to spend full price on... Um, the original Canon ones. So anyways, as I was trying to explain, um, I had recently purchased some other uh, Distress Oxide ink pads and I did, I showed that in my last haul. And um, I found out that one of them I'd already bought. So I took it back there last weekend and I was gonna try to exchange it for a different color. Now you would think, okay, you're gonna exchange it same product, different color. Same price, different color. I take it up to returns, exchanges, and the girl was trying to refund me the money on that pad and then make me pay full price for one of the pads, for the one that I was exchanging it for. And I didn't understand why, and I told her, well, it's the same price, it's just a different color. She goes, well, it's not on sale this week. What the hell? So I had her stop the transaction. She'd already scribbled all over my receipt. I told her, you need to mark it on there that I did not return it because I am coming back to return it when the Tim Holtz stuff is on sale. And I don't want them to think that I'm just trying to, you know, scam the system by bringing the receipt back again and returning something. So when I went up there today, because Tim Holtz is on sale this week, um, yeah, of course, the person that was at the returns was kind of like giving me a weird look when I explained it to them and I said I have not returned this I was in the process but she told me that they could she couldn't 
um, ex she couldn't do an, a, you know, an exact exchange because it wasn't on sale. I'm back now because it's on sale and I'm wanting to get, you know, exchange the one that I bought with one of the ones that I'm getting. She went ahead and did it. So thank God, because I don't understand that process. So I picked up five. I got pine needles Hold on here. Let me, I hate it when they put the, the tag right on front of the item. Excuse me. <laughs> I've got speckled egg, stormy sky, chipped sapphire, and rustic wilderness. As you can see, I was going with a the blue green theme. Now, normally, when I do these hauls, I always try to take a picture and then I post it on Instagram. I haven't been doing that lately. And also taking the picture ensures that when I'm at the store, I will look back to see what I bought to make sure I'm not buying it again. Like I said, I didn't do that in the last two Hobby Lobby hauls. So I was kind of like, oh, uh, maybe I don't have this. Turns out I did. So before I got to the store, I checked both of the videos to be absolutely sure that I did not get any of these colors. So yeah. I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure I don't have the colors, but I will be very, very pissed off if I already do. So anyways, um, that is my little haul from um, Hobby Lobby. I do have these. Um, I picked these up because my niece, Lowen, she had her birthday um, last weekend and she likes fairies. She just turned 10 and my sister, had went ahead and got a whole bunch of like fairy garden stuff. She wanted to keep it outside and I'm like, it's too nice to keep it outside. Some of this stuff, like we picked, um, I think it was like this house. Let me see if it's in here. It had a lot of like glitter on it, which was so cute. But anyways, um, I picked them up because I just thought that they were, you know, they're really pretty and it gives you some, gives me some ideas for some stuff. So that's why I have these here. So yeah, oh, I wanted to show this on camera as I put them in so you can see. They only had one other box and I don't know, I might go back next week and pick it up. So, yep, it fits. So this is a good way of storing them. I will take the plastic off up there because um, obviously it's gonna fit without it. I gotta go and scrounge up the other ones. I think actually I will go back and get the other box because I have the old, um, you know, the original distressed ink pads. And I mean, I don't have a whole bunch of the big ones. I have most, I have almost all of the mini ones. So, um, and I have those tins also. I think there's only one set that I have not picked up yet and I'm still trying to find it. I think it's like number five. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look, but, um, yeah, I wanted to get the oxides instead of the regular ones. So that's how it fits and let's close it. Perfect. Rather than me having to stack it, it's just easier to keep all together. So it's not a bad price, seven bucks for a storage tin that fits the product exactly. Right. Okay. So that, oh, let me just lay everything out. <laughs> so that's my haul from uh, Hobby Lobby. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend or a great week. All right, bye.